I've been a uh, professional captain for over 15 years. I've been sailing on the waters for over 22 years in the Merchant Marines. I'm currently a captain of an ITB unit, tug and barge, out of uh, Staten Island, New York. I've got a chance to play with a lot of radars in my time. And as of right now, I'm using the Helix 10s and I'm using the brand new Chirp Radar by Hummingbird. So it's easy as hitting the uh, transmit button. If I hit transmit, and bang, it's, it fires up that fast. Now what I want to do now is I want to make sure my scale is correct where I'm at. Right now I'm on a 3 8 nautical mile scale. And as easy as hitting your plus and minus buttons, you can increase your range or decrease. So now we're going to pan out to 3 quarters of a mile. I'm just starting to make up the bridge right now on the radar. And if I want, I hit menu, I go to settings, and here's where I can adjust my gain, but I have it set for auto right now. The color gain's on auto, the sea's on auto, and the rain is off. If we are in some kind of heavy weather, which we're not right now, I can adjust my sea clutter just by hitting the cursor. And now I'm adjusting my sea clutter to where I can start seeing my targets coming in clear and I'm not getting any false echoes. When I'm cruising on radar, I'm gonna constantly scroll out a little bit, find a buoy on the chart, put my heading marker on it, my heading marker on the radar also will line up perfect. So they're actually, they're, they're uniform together. So I know that I'm pointing right at that buoy. If there's two close buoys together, you will get two buoys on the radar. It won't just be one blob. The detail in these radars alone, compared to other radars I've used in the past, are far by none but one of the best radars I've used. I'm saying that with 22 years experience.